In this example, uh, it says that we have a vestigial side band system with carrier frequency 20 kHz and the bandwidth of the baseband signal is 6 kHz. The HI, the vestigial side band filter that we use at the uh, transmitter, it looks like this. It is given like this. It is uh, between 22 to 26, it's constant 1. And from uh, 18 to 22, it reduces or decreases gradually uh, from 0.5 to 0. Of course, where is our carrier? Our carrier is given as 20 kilo hertz. This is our carrier, right? Our carrier is given, which means that this filter, this filter, it passes the upper side band and around 2 kilohertz, 2 kilohertz of the lower side band. And it starts decreasing before the carrier, actually. It starts decreasing 2 kilohertz before the carrier frequency. It starts decreasing from 22 up to 18. So uh, before the carrier, it starts decreasing from 0.5 to 0. So this is the shape of the, uh, this is the shape of the vestigial sideband filter at the transmitter. Of course, this is for the purpose of example, but practically speaking, the filter should be smooth, the decaying smoothly, not like a piecewise linear like this. But we use the piecewise linear for simplicity of analysis, right? But keep in mind that practically speaking, filters are smooth, they decay smoothly and gradually. So we need from this filter, we need what? We need to calculate each node of it. And keep in mind that here the baseband, the bandwidth of the baseband signal is 6 kHz. So we care about designing each node, we care about designing each node of F that will exist between minus 6 kHz to 6 kHz. This is the band of interest. This is the band of interest, which is the bandwidth of our baseband signal, right? This is the band of our baseband signal from minus 6 kHz to 6 kHz. So this is the band of interest that we focus on. In order to calculate H root of F from H I of F, we are going to follow the equation exactly as it is. So the equation says that we need to obtain H I of F minus F C. We need to add it to H I of F plus F C. And after we add these two versions, we reverse one over. We take one over this summation, right? So what we are going to do is, let's get first h i of f minus f c. Let's get h i of f plus f c. Let's add them, and then we reverse. So in order to do that, let's get h i of f minus f c. h i of f minus f c means that we are going to shift to the right by 20 kilohertz. When we shift to the right by 20 kilohertz, minus 18 will become minus, uh, it will become plus 2. And negative 22 will become negative 2 kilohertz. So we are shifting right by FC, which is 20 kilohertz. So everything will be shifted by 20 kilohertz. Negative 18 will become 2, negative 22 will become negative 2 and negative 26 will become negative 6 kHz and then we are going to plot this it goes from 0 to negative uh, to 0.5 and then up here 1 so this is now this image will be shifted to the right this image also will be shifted to the right there by 20 kHz so 18 will become 38 and then 42 and 40 Six, but we don't care about this. Why don't we care about this? We don't care about this because our area of interest, our band of interest is from minus 6 kilohertz to 6 kilohertz. So I don't care about what happens at far away, what happens at 38 or at 42 or at 46. I don't care. Although I can just plot our uh, spectrum there, but I don't care about it because my focus, in order to calculate h of f, my focus will be between negative 6 kilohertz to 6 kilohertz. So I don't care about what happens far away from this band. This is HI of F minus FC. Let's do the same for HI of F plus FC. HI of F plus FC, basically I'm going to shift to the left by 20 kilohertz. So 18 will become, if I shift to the left by 20 kilohertz, will become negative 2. And 22 will become 2 
and then 26 will become 6. And then I'm going to get a line from this point to this point, and then up 1. So here it will be 0.5, and then this will be 1. So now I obtain, also this image is going to be shifted to the left, but again, it will be far away from the band of interest, which is from minus 6 to 6. So I don't care about it, I don't have even to plot it. Okay? Then I'm going to add hi of f minus fc plus hi of f plus fc. Let's add them. When we add them, hi of f minus fc plus hi of f plus fc. When we add them, let's do dots here and two at the critical points. Dots at the critical points, minus two, minus six. When we add them, first, let's consider between two and six kilohertz, you are adding one to zero. You add one here to zero, so it will be one. Same thing from the other side. Between minus two to minus six, you are adding zero. You are adding zero to one, so it will be one. In between, you are adding two lines like this. Between two and negative two, you are adding two lines like this. When you add two lines, the result will be a line. Adding two lines, it gives you a line. In order to plot the line, you need two points on this line. So let's add the two points. First point, we are going to add zero to point 0.5. It will give you point 0.5. And then the second point, you are going to add point 0.5 to zero. It's going to give you again point 0.5. And then you connect these two points. It will give you the line. The addition of these two lines it will give you a constant line of point 0.5. And don't Get confused. When you add these two lines, you add zero here to what? Which point? Do you add it to this point or this point? Uh, don't do this mistake. When you add these two lines, don't add this point to this point. No, you add it to the point on the line. You are adding now, you are focusing now on this line, right? And this line. So you should add the points on these two lines. You add the point here to the point on the line, okay? And the point here to the point on the line. So you add 0 to 0.5 and 0.5 to 0, you will get 0.5. Once you obtain hi of f minus fc plus hi of f plus fc, you need to flip it. You need to take 1 over. So in order to take 1 over, what we will do is very easy. This is the easiest step. So this is 2, this is minus 2, this is 6, this is minus 6. When you take 1 over, 1 over 1 is 1, so it will give you here 1. Between 2 and 6, it was 1. When you take 1 over, it will be 1. Same thing, between minus 2 and minus 6, it was 1. So 1 over 1 is 1. Between minus 2 and 2, the value of the filter is 0.5. 1 over 0.5 it will give you 2. So here, this is now, this is now the equalizer filter at the receiver. So what we did is, we followed the equation exactly. We obtained hi of f minus fc, hi of f plus fc, then we added them, then we flipped them, okay? So after we flipped them, we obtained h naught of f, which is the equalizer filter that will equalize the effect of this filter. So if you use this filter at the transmitter, you have to use this filter at the receiver in order to reconstruct your message M of T exactly as the original message. Otherwise, it will be distorted. Okay? So I hope this example was uh, useful. See you in the next video with some quick discussion about uh, vestigial cycle.